There's a lot of different aspects to the creative economy that are tied around fashion. Fashion makes strong political statements. It's a measurable economy. So what we've been really trying to figure out is how do we take all those regional assets and try and put them together and showcase them in a way where we can actually start to draw interest from other areas, let's say like down in the city, where people will actually come up to say, there's some amazing fashion and creative energy happening around fashion in our upstate New York region. Um, interesting enough so we feel we need to go there. Is it bold? It's ridiculously bold to think that you could attract people in the fashion mecca of the planet to come up to upstate New York to consider fashion. But I will say I was shocked and surprised to see some of the people who pre-reserve seats in the front two rows of the show this year actually have a lot to do with the creative economy and business models that are down in New York City. So it's been a huge goal of ours to be able to start to attract that because we know when we bring that energy, that energy brings dollars and that energy brings jobs and that helps us to support our region to have a better standard of living. The theme this year is really interesting. It's the makers movement in America. We created a theatrical set that includes a large 25 to 30 foot rigging with suspended elements of windows, the idea that now you're seeing where the things come from. And we felt it was time to give people the opportunity to have an understanding with a direct connection with these designers. And then we allow them to participate and interact with them actually at a shop, a pop-up shop that's built right on the premises so that people can support our local and regional economy by actually spending their dollars with these creative designers. We will actually have a shoemaker on the stage and he'll start doing his craft. And as the craft begins to happen and the music begins to coalesce with it, we begin to come into a rhythmic structure that allows for the initial runway segment to happen. It'll feel very much like a theater performance in the beginning and then move into more of a typical runway show. One of the designers we're working with this year is out of Saratoga. They're called Fratelli and Lockwood. When I finally went to their atelier, I was shocked and surprised. They have all these hand looms there. They're hand looming the fabric right in Saratoga. Then it's getting patterned, cut, and created into garments that are sold in our region and regions beyond the area. So we paired them up with a uh, shoe repurposer out of Schenectady, New York, named The Last Gentleman Company. And what he does is take vintage shoes and then resoles them, refurbishes them with, with trendy colors and hip sole styles. Then as we move through that, we go to a sustainable clothing designer named Ecologic out of Troy, one of the nation's first. And then we get to a designer named Vilma Mare, who uh, has a company called Baltic Style. She's from Lithuania. She has a very deeply researched theme in her clothing that has to do with Baltic mythology. So we will have a spiritual guide named Ia, who will come down and uh, call down the ancestors to bless the space. And it'll be very ritualistic and actually quite beautiful. And then as we move through, we have our Queen's designer, Margaret of Gamakachi Black, which is very uh, energized, evening wear, clubby. She learned how to create clothes from her grandmother and doesn't even use patterns. She hand cuts everything. It's a very old style that's been handed down from generation to generation. We're super excited to be working with Match out of Schenectady this year, formerly known as Marika Charles. Marika and Charles are a brother-sister team and they really play off each other nicely. Uh, Marika designs the style and the energy and uh, her brother Charlie actually is, is a very technical uh, fabric-based person. They do a lot of dyeing and special screen printing techniques. Then with our final segment, we'll have, of course, our special musical presentation that will involve Pecia Kazaroba from the Albany Symphony performing a piece that was uh, written and recorded with Chuck Lamb of the Brubeck Brothers Quartet and Nate DeGrate, our show director uh, for music and DJ. It's shocking to me the beautiful hidden gems of creativity and artistic experience that we have in our region. And it just really excites me to be able to be a part of this process and organization that can bring all these amazing people together in this moment and just kind of like blow people away because they're like, we had no idea this was going on here. 
So the designers coming to participate in this show create an entertainment value and then being able to sell their creative wares at that event off the runway gives these small entrepreneurial businesses an opportunity to be able to get paid for their craft. And when they get paid for their craft, they go out and they hire individuals and it supports a small business economy. So that would include all the elements that go within the context of that. So we think originally we have designers, but really to support designers, you have seamstresses, you have sewers, you have pattern makers. Then in that industry, you have stylists, you have photographers, you have models, you have graphic designers, you have producers. The way to do it is to grab as many of these people to play component parts into this big ball and do a major production, major production that's using the skills and abilities of all these specialized partners, that is how you show people. I feel like it's always the artists who see the future a few steps ahead of where everyone else is and they begin to inform us about where we are or where we're going, whether that's good or bad. So I like to utilize the arts as a tool. On the surface, it always looks like entertainment, but I can assure you, underneath, the themes that we're working with always have a much deeper meaning, and we're trying to resonate messages of importance out into the community that are um, not divisive, but that are bringing people together so that we can uh, participate in this ongoing dialogue of how we can make life better for one another, how we can um, be more happy in our daily lives.